Hi guys, John Hansconnect here, and I have my brand new China leather shoe patching machine. And I've had it for one week, and I absolutely love it, and I am super glad that I didn't get a sale right machine. Um, this thing does everything that I needed to do and a lot more. Um, I had purchased a three-quarter horsepower, 600-watt servo motor. Um, in anticipation of having the sale right machine thing. So I decided to go ahead and 3D print this ring that slipped right over the existing um, mechanism and I just adhere it with 5 minute epoxy. And I also printed this is a keyed it has the keyway and everything for this. Um, and I'll show this all a little closer. I, three, I used a skate bearing and 3D printed an idler pulley that goes right here. And thanks to Ian Murray on the Facebook forum, this is where this gets bolted on, right? Well, he gave me the idea, he talked about a magnet that could hold the uh, bobbins and I'll zoom in and show you this up close. So there it is. You can see the ridge. And as a bobbin comes in, it just wants to snap into place. And it balances within the ridge. And it easily spins. I don't have an unwound bobbin, so I can't demonstrate that. Anyway, fantastic idea. And I'll just get to start demonstrating some of this stuff. All right. So, overall, what do we have here? We've got a genuine Burrow brand sawhorse that I've got at Home Depot or Lowe's, I don't recall. Um, I used two pieces of 2x4 and that allowed me to bolt the patcher rigidly onto this sawhorse. And it's a super rigid mount. Also in the sawhorse, for the tools that I'm going to use frequently, which are needle nose pliers, scissors, a thread seam cutter for sewing. This is the threading um, wire that's useful and handy to keep handy. And I embedded magnets in the sawhorse so I can keep extra spools. I deal with the T70 thread and I'm always burning the cut ends. Uh, after I sew. Um, so this is all cool. Everything sticks with a magnet. The servo motor has a foot controller and I set it for a minimum of 200 RPM. And I'll go ahead and... Here's me just going at 200 RPM. And if I wanted to stop and if I wanted to spin it by hand I still have full hand control. But there's 200 RPM. That's less than one stitch per second and then as you push the foot pedal down you can adjust it for whatever maximum you want. I happen to have it at 1000 RPM maximum and it's nice and smooth. I mounted the controller back here. I never really need to get to it but you can program the minimum speed and the maximum speed that you want. It could go a hell of a lot faster than I've got it going but this is, this is fine for what I need. The other nice thing is by using an XL belt pulley, these are easy to pull off. It's not under much tension. And what I do is I thread through my tensioner. I come up through, through the top of this. I just have this at the 12 o'clock position. I take my thread over and down. And this is where the where it sits for bobbing the for winding the bobbin. Super easy to wind a bobbin really fast. And it's also super easy to put the belt back. You just go over that, over this, around the wheel. And because XL belts don't have to run at high tension, 
it just slips right back into place. And even though it might be out right there, it's going to come in to proper position on its first rotation. You may be asking how I handle the foot control. I happen to have had a lead brick, so this guy doesn't move at all. And I just screwed the foot controller to the side of it. And the arm on the foot controller was really only this long. And for a while, I had this piece of aluminum mounted on that arm. But I found that it didn't give me enough range of motion. So I went ahead with a longer one. And now the, the, 100, the 200 RPM to 1000 RPM distance is a little further since the arm is longer. Anyway, I made it so that just as I hit the ground with it, it's at its maximum RPM. So now let me show you a few things that I can do with it. Making sure it turns the right direction. Dropping it in. Closing. Picking up the thread. There it is. Alright, so I'll do a quick demonstration of this machine and how nice it can stitch. Uh, normally for my paramotor harness, I'm using this 4,000 pound webbing that's mil-spec rated. This actually doesn't seem that difficult to sew through, even though my home machine was having great difficulty putting two or three layers together. But to demonstrate, I'm going to take some old nylon webbing that I have. This is an eighth inch thick. I'll drop it in, drop the foot, start stitching. It just gives beautiful stitches. And uh, what I was saying was, if you watch a needle plunge, and at one point the foot lifts while the needle's plunged, that's the ideal time to make a turn. And of course with a motorized patching unit, you can use both hands. All right, so that's that's impressive enough as it is. Let me go ahead and show you something a little more impressive. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. This is a T70 bonded nylon thread. I'm going to go one eighth. One uh, quarter, I'm going to go three eighths and bond all this webbing together. I think a Sailrite machine would probably complain at that. This is going to not even blink an eye. Drop it under the foot, drop it. I'll start off slow. I'll do it. I'm going to do a few back stitches. I'm not going to worry about the back stitching. Anyway, here we go. Three eighths thick. I'm not worrying about being all straight. I'm just demonstrating. So there we go, lift the foot, pull it out, there's the bottom side stitch, perfect, top side, this, this is a fine machine, once you've got them tuned up. I did, um, I spent a considerable amount of time polishing my, my uh, bobbin holder, let me get my magnet here. I keep magnets all over the place. Here's the bobbin. Eh. Here's the bobbin holder. Lots of fine grit sandpaper to smooth it out. I also polished the inside. I think everybody does that when they receive their china patcher. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed what I had to show you. Um, I'm open to further ideas, but what I, I think what I've got is uh, I'm very happy with it.